to do. See, artists need to let this creativity out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If not, we go mad. Mm -hmm. And I've been there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. And so I, I, you know, I, I need this outlet to do this, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do it without your support. Mm -hmm. So I must say again that I'm humbled and grateful for your support. Because I, this, what I do, what I do is, I'm referencing it old school, old school authentic black entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that's, you don't find this in many clubs around town. Mm -hmm. So I had to create this to do me, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do it, truly. I'm, I'm, so I, I don't want to get sentimental, but I'm, I want you to know oh, how grateful I am. Always get sentimental. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Oh, but you see, I grew up, I grew up with this music. Mm. As, a, as a kid mm -hmm. in the late 50s, what is that? My uh, as a kid in the late 50s, uh, you know, many, many of you know that my father was in banking, uh, one of the founding members of the first black bank in Louisiana. And so I grew up with lots of parties in my home mm -hmm. as a kid in the 50s. And so I heard all this wonderful music that I do today as a child. So this is really all I know. Mm -hmm. And I tried to do new things. People said, why do you always do the old stuff? Well, because there must be millions of people mm -hmm. who've never heard this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why put this on the shelf for something because it's new? Mm -hmm. This is tried and tested. This is authentic. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. And so it is part of my mission. <clears throat> See, God put this on me. I have the longest running weekly jazz TV show, and I've interviewed many of these great legends, mm -hmm. Nancy Wilson and Oscar Peterson. Of Clark Terry and Randy Weston, and Anita O'Day, and George Ivakin, who created the record album, and Arthur Lugar, who had one of the most famous jazz clubs in the world called the Village Gate, mm -hmm. down on Bleecker yeah. Street. Yeah. And uh, Art and I became friends towards the end of his life. Uh, he was in his 80s. You know, he booked Aretha Franklin's first show in New York. Really? Huh. Uh, yeah, Art Deligo. See, I See, I didn't just have the stars in front of the camera. You know, the, made, the marquee names. I had also those behind the camera who made it all work. Mm -hmm. Like Art Lugos and the Art uh, Georgia Biden who did a lot of Louis Armstrong recordings at Columbia. But let's get back to that. How about a ballad? Nice, simple, soft ballad. But, like, Tina, I don't do anything nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> I do it nice and rough. Primary, keep on burning. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do something. Actually, I don't think I've been. Every time we say Every time we say goodbye. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I don't Me know. Me neither. And he don't know. <laughs> so we're, we're up for an adventure. Yes. Uh -huh. Because neither of us know this song. But I feel compelled. Okay. Because it's Easter. And I don't know why I had to do anything with Easter. But I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
H and A of spring. A lark somewhere began to sing about it. There's no love song fighter, but how strange the change from major to minor. Listen, here, I'm going to give you this check. 
Then this is your last child support check. You know, after 18 years, so every month, give me this check. Month after month, year after year, 18 years. This is your last check, you're 18 now. So take this home to your mother and say, listen, you know, this, is, this is your last check you'll ever get from me. And then come back and tell me what Mama had to say. <laughs> you know, I want to see the expression on Mama's face. 18 years, month after month, year after year, I'll give you child support. So she takes the check, she goes home to her mother. And the next day she comes back and, you know, the father's waiting there with bated breath to see what the mother's expression was to get her last check. So he let her in and she, he said, baby girl, tell me, what was your mother's expression when you told, when you told her that's her last check? She said, she told me to tell you, you ain't my daddy. <laughs> and thanks for the check. <laughs>